I'm Elia Haber for the Beirut Banyan. I just finished attending a session about how to stay healthy when you're protesting, whether it's tips on how to eat, what to drink, um, without gaining extra calories and making sure you <laughs> maintain your vitamins and all of the necessities. In that session, I was with a friend who's been with me all this time, all this past month, protesting on the ground, staying active online. It's been a while that we've been trying to sit down for a conversation and tonight felt like the night because we both needed that boost on how to stay focused, whether physically or mentally. We sat down at a nearby bench on the streets. I can smell jasmine in the air. It's a lovely night in Beirut. Here's our conversation. Uh, I am Adnan Naame. Uh, I am 32 years old. I'm a senior accountant in a company in Jannah, Beirut. So going back to uh, the topic of food, um, after a month of protesting, do you um, feel that you're able to cope with the physical stresses? And more importantly, how are you coping with the emotional ups and downs? I won't lie to you, but lately I have been uh, going through depression and anxiety uh, uh, because of the situation we are passing through. Revolution, inflation and currency, job security, uh, all that stuff. So lately dealing with the situation was so hard. I am doing some compromises now. I'm, I'm being a little bit stable lately to live my life again. And uh, recognize that Thawra has been like a new lifestyle we have to live with. In this new lifestyle, as we also both just saw around 8 p.m., we had to stop our conversation because of the pan action that's happening all over the balconies here. What would you tell uh, the people who are still hesitant about joining um, the protests on the ground? They may be scared of what's going on or they're just, they don't feel secure by going down. Well, I have a lot of discussions about, among this uh, topic with me and my friends and some relatives, they are keep telling me that uh, some of them they are afraid, some of them they are not that motivated. Well, I always tell them that uh, their presence will be very good if they show up. Not showing up is hurting the revolution itself. I encourage those people, I, I tell them to stand by ourselves because we, we both are uh, suffering the same things what do you think you've learned in the past month, whether about yourself, your fellow Lebanese, or the country in general? Well, on the personal level, I, maybe it's uh, the most important thing that I have ever learned is not to be afraid of uh, the government or uh, the Zaran, the bad guys that are uh, governing the whole situation. Maybe I don't want to name any sector, but you no. Know, uh, some of them are not motivated back to that question of uh, uh, why people are not going down to the revolution or are not going down to the Thawra because of those Zoran, the bad people who are governing the whole situation. So if I want to say what did I learn not to be afraid of uh, anything and to be more open in my ideas and my thoughts and not to hide, I was always hiding, hiding, hiding. Now, 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 no, I'm so open, I can't publish anything on FB, of course, legal and uh, moral uh, way. Even that, I, I was even shy and scared of doing that. Lately, I'm not that person. I was like one and a half month ago. And what I learned, maybe some good topics in economy <laughs> lately you are good. lately all the people are uh, doing some research in economy just to know what to do in this country so uh, <laughs> it's a good thing we are doing that i'm also meeting people on the street who are saying that they also miss going back to who they really are whether their profession their daily activities their routines not necessarily going back to the status quo but feeling that they're doing something else besides chanting. How are you dealing 
with that yourself? You're an accountant by trade. Um, you have other activities that you're involved in. How are you trying to strike a balance with what you had before and your current situation? Well, people should know uh, that in uh, revolution, I will call it Thawra, I will, I, will, I will say it in Arabic. When it happened, there's no way we could go back. Going back is like making a suicide to ourselves, and we don't want that. Uh, the idea here that people uh, have been going to all the fields, like here in Beirut, it's, it's decentralized on all Lebanon. So it has been going to the fields uh, daily, and they're cutting ways, uh, very uh, important highways. If we are going to deal with that every day, and I don't see there is a cutway, and I don't see a deadline for that revolution, we have to deal it as if it is a lifestyle. Like now, uh, when I wake up in the morning, uh, the last month uh, I have been wo- uh, waking up hyper angry. I don't wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I don't know, do something at the fields, publish many things, but also I was cutting my own lifestyle. I have hobbies to achieve, I don't know, I stopped reading, I stopped seeing friends. That was a very stressful uh, situation. But also, after realizing that revolution will keep on going and will not die, hopefully, really, I hopefully will not die. So I started to comp- make a little bit of compromise and returning my old life again. So part of like healing myself in uh, revolution, when I go to the fields now, uh, I'm taking my a book with me to read it. Why do you think staying on the ground still matters? What do you think should happen next? Well, staying on the ground or staying at home is not the issue. The issue is to be always active. Not on, If I go went now to Beirut, and there is no one like there. My presence will not affect anyone, and even uh, not showing up also will not affect. So the idea here is to do that little exercise at home, and really what I started like publishing on FB, going to discussions, attend meetings. If there is like a protest, a small protest in front of uh, any municipality, I would go there. Lately, we are finding ways of finding good techniques, if you want to do that exercise, to take the bad guys to the courts, to really make the courts work again. Um, Since you're talking about the courts, one of the items that were proposed in the last parliament session had to do with enhancing our judiciary system. If a new session were to be called, don't you think that the people who want their parliament members to go and work on items that may also relate to justice. Shouldn't they also reach the parliament to maybe help with your cause? Our mission here to tell those people, even if they represent you, they have the, we have the right to send them to the courts. At least, at least let the justice uh, uh, judge Ismo, make the right ju- judgment. After that judgment, we will make a good compromise, but at least half of the Lebanese say that the government is bad. Is they are stealing, they are doing something bad to the country. So I can't let them do any. So I can't let them continue in any constitutional step. Those same people are supposed to constitutionally go talk with the president to choose a new prime minister. So you don't want that to happen with those parliament members? Yeah, but the amnesty is is what we are protesting against. But choosing the right prime minister is another case. Okay, so let's turn the situation around. Let's say five years later, ten years later, a portion of the people says that the parliament, which you happen to like or think represents you, Um, is not representative of them and do the same thing. They cut the roads, they stop the parliament members from attending to parliament. Would you still feel it's a good way of protesting? The idea here, those who are representing me in the parliament, so now or after or before, are they good people or not? But if that's not, that's subjective. You are saying they're good, they're bad people. Others are saying they're good. 
So that's subjective. Judgment, no, no. The, who makes the good judgment here are the, the justice here, right? We are, they are not letting us to make the right judgment. So even if, if those people now, if uh, those people uh, that uh, I chose to represent me, if after, you know, after two years, five years, if there is any proof that they are a bad guys, I will go with those people and protest against them. So it's not about like who is representing me as a god. No, there is no gods here. You should go do your job right or just don't go. How do you think people are going to remember this period in uh, Lebanon's history? If they're looking back in a year, two years, what do you think they're going to remember from this? And what do you hope they're going to remember? Well, the first thing that they're going to remember that they make a rebel among people that have been sitting on the chairs over 30 years. People that will remember that they are not that afraid anymore. They will, they can demand their rights even if the government is using the most harmful way against the protesters. Elia Haber, signing off from Martyr Square for the Beirut Banyan.